Hey, good morning, family. Um, one of the questions that I get asked a lot is like, what else or what more can I do? It's like um, a lot of people say that they're doing all they can and they're not seeing the results. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do, but the weight's not coming off. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do, but my business is not progressing or I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to do on the job, but I'm not being promoted. And the thing that I say to them is, are you? Are you truly doing all that you can? Um, a lot of times we think we're doing all that we can and we're not because we're not in that pressure situation. Your back is not truly against the wall. So you're not really doing all you can. And I feel as though that you won't truly do all you can until you get that mentality where you say, I'm sick and tired and I can't take it anymore. You know what I'm saying? It's like, um, if I went to the doctor today and the doctor told me, Brian, if you don't lose this weight in two months, you're going to die. I bet you in those two months, I'm going to lose that weight because my back is against the wall and I have to. So until your back is against the wall or you put yourself in that position where you feel that way, I don't think you're truly going to do all that you can do. Um, for example, let me tell you about a time when I was younger and I was in school. Um, it's not one of my most proudest moments, but when I was in school and um, I would come to class every day, we had this guy that was in class and he was um, what we would consider a nerd back then. Um, nowadays, nerds are cool, but back then, you know, if you was a nerd, you got picked on. And um, every day I would come in class and I would have something to say to this guy. I mean, I picked on him every day. And, you know, I'm not proud of it today, but yeah, I picked on him every day and every day I'd come into class, I'd have something to say. Now, this one particular day I came into class and he was sitting behind the desk and I came in and I said something to him. I forget what it was I said, but he stood up and he threw the desk aside. He said, I'm sick and tired of this and I'm not going to take it anymore. And he came running and charging at me and he grabbed me around my waist and next thing you know we're tussling on the ground and going at it but ever since that day I had respect for him and and he didn't get picked on anymore and and nobody messed with him anymore because he got to that point where he made up in his mind that he's sick and tired and he's not going to take it anymore and he's going to do something about it he's going to react and take a chance whether then stay in the state that he's in now where he's getting picked on every day, you know, win, lose, draw, whatever, he'd rather move forward than to stay where he's at right now. So do you understand what I'm saying? It's, it's, if you're at that point where you feel like you're not growing or your business is not where it's supposed to be or you're not losing the weight that you're supposed to be losing, ask yourself, are you really doing all you can? Are you at that point where you made up your mind that you're sick and you're tired and you're not gonna take it anymore? So the power is in the made up mind. The power is in the made up mind where you feel as though that I'm sick of being where I'm at. I'm sick of being broke. I'm sick of living the way that I'm living. I'm not gonna take it anymore and react. 